Not every day on iRacing, you get to race with a former Daytona 500 champion. Yesterday, we were going to be iRacing with the Trevor Bain. He's going to be in the number 7 car. Let's hope we can keep up with him for 35 laps here around Phoenix. The late mile division is still fairly new to me. I'm learning a lot, but Phoenix is a track that I'm extremely familiar with. So I feel like this is going to be a good mix up here. Hopefully, we can bring home a top 5 finish. Subscribe if you're new because you know it's going to be an entertaining one let's go ahead and jump into the content i never thought i would see the day that i am intimidated by trevor bain but seeing a daytona 500 champion starting directly behind me on my rear bumper is a little bit scary buckle up here from phoenix man i'm ready to go i don't know what kind of result we are in for but i'm gonna give it everything the leader is taking them very slow right now he's stepping up his pace a little bit almost green flag racing time from phoenix and we are off boys here we go Let's try to put it inside the top five. I think we're going to clear the bottom right behind this number four car. Get all the way in behind him. We might need to try to take him on the outside if we can. Up to fourth gear. No yellow flags here today. So let's give it everything into turn number one and two. Whoo, got a little bit loose right there. We're going to hold it. We are going to hold it. Definitely got a little bit sideways. It snapped on me. Car into the wall in front of me. That's going to be pretty big. He might be upside down. He's wrecking behind me. We're going to get around it. Going to check up very early right there. Hopefully we don't get rear-ended. It's getting wild behind me. Don't kick out Trevor, man. Trevor Bain is to my rear bumper in that number seven as we're all cutting the course down the front straightaway. Currently running in position number five. Trevor Bain is running me down, man. He's to my back bumper. I'm not going down easy, Trevor, man. I'm going to give it everything right here. Great run. Off turn number two. Trevor is there, man. I don't want to get caught up mirror driving too much. We're on the brakes early. Running that bottom groove. Feeling good. We got to make sure we have tires on lap 35. They're getting racy up there for the win, for the lead. It can potentially get very, very, very wild. Back in a one, boys. Can't believe we're outrunning Trevor for the moment. He's probably going to get around me at some point. He's looking very strong with the entry of turn number one and two. But we're coming off pretty crazy as well. The biggest thing here today is keeping the car clean. Keeping it in one piece at a track like this. You know it just isn't going to be easy. Are we pulling away from Trevor? I have no idea. On the brakes pretty hard here on entry. The leaders are bumper a bumper, man. Somebody might get turned up there. Somebody might get punted. We're currently 1.7 seconds back side by side for the lead up there this is an opportunity man if they keep running side by side this is a great opportunity i really run them down and get these positions oh man four car in front of me overshot the corner a little bit that's gonna make me gain a lot big door slam ahead we're gaining on the leaders boys we are railing them in Trevor cutting it tight back there behind me. Trying to find any inch he can. Four cars trying the apron ahead. He's going to get a little bit loose because of that. He's not going to get the perfect drive off. We're about to be battling for position number four here. If we can get around that number four car. Back in turn number three and four, man. I don't want to focus too much on the leaders. And I don't want to focus too much on Trevor here behind me. Right now, sights are set on the number four. The racing we're getting here is incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Donkey move in the chat. Big smoke going into turn number three and four, but the track is clean and the track is clear right now at the moment. Put the top three under a blanket. Put the four, me and Trevor, under a blanket. But given this is a car with not much horsepower, it's hard to make a pass on the four. Definitely over it there into turn number one and two. Big opportunity here. I just don't know where to take him, man. He's looking a little bit defensive there. I can try to shove my nose in, but he's definitely going to slam the door. He outbroke me going into turn number three and four. So he's going to hold that position. We got to do something. I might need to try to take him up high, but if I do that, that's going to open the door for Trevor Bain to try to get around me on the inside. I mean, you're kind of screwed no matter what you do here. You don't want to ride behind him. Here comes Trevor to the inside. I think Trevor's going to send it in just deep enough here. Let's see. I'm going to try to throttle up. Trevor is to my inside right now. Clean so far. I think we're going to hold that position. He's still looking low right now. He's trying to apply a lot of pressure on me. But so far, racing me extremely clean. We're going to get a big advantage there. Trevor overdrove it a little bit. I got a great runoff turn number two right there. Really gained a lot of time on this number four. If I can get to his inside, maybe I can do what Trevor did to me. 
Gonna see if I can make him overdrive it, man. Definitely just trying to get in his head right now. He backed up his corners a little bit to keep me from doing that. But that's gonna give me an even stronger runoff as long as we can commit to the throttle. I don't know if we're gonna get the bottom. He's gonna take the bottom group, but now I can try to pin him down. Now that we are on the outside, I can really try to pin him down or make him overdrive it and try to slide underneath him here, which is gonna be very difficult to do, but I believe we're gonna do it to the inside of the four. All the way down to the bottom. Side by side for it. And I believe we're going to clear him. Going into turn number one and two. He's going to try to cross me over right here. Maybe him and Trevor will get pretty racy up there behind me. Now I got to focus on the top three up there. We have moved into the fourth position. Trevor's trying to make a move on the four. And he's going to roll over for him. He did not want to race Trevor Bay. And he gave him that position pretty easily. Me and Trevor are kind of breaking even right now. I feel like Trevor's going to have a better car on the long run. Trying to run him down. They are three seconds ahead. We've lost a lot of time getting in this fourth position. Trevor is picking up his pace heavy right now to my back bumper. See what we can do with him, man. I feel like if he gets to my inside, I might roll over for him. But at the same time, I'm hoping the leaders will get a little bit racy just so I can drive my way into the picture, man. That's all I'm trying to do. If you think I'm going to go down for Trevor Bain, you're thinking wrong, man. I want to beat my idols, man. Deep sim behind me by Trevor. He's there, boys. He's there. Trying to get to my inside. We're back on the throttle. Whoo, got a little bit tight right there. Had to bail out the gas. Trevor's going to be looking a little bit of lag right there. He's going to get to my inside. Now we're side by side with Trevor Bain. He's going to send it in very deep. We're going to try to fight back on the outside. Couldn't commit to the throttle without getting the wall there. But I'm going to try to stay glued to his back bumper, man. He's setting a good pace right now. He might be smart. Stick behind him. He's getting so much time there on entry. Definitely overdrove it a little bit right there. So unfortunately, put us down to position number five. I'm going to try my best to stay glued to his back bumper. But he sent it in so deep right there. A little bit sideways by Trevor. Big opportunity. I get an upper hand on him. Bumper to bumper around here. All the way down to the bottom, man. And there's a couple guys behind us reeling us in fast. With this package, we're just unfortunately, nobody's really getting away. The draft is pretty powerful because normally these cars don't go to a track this big of this caliber. Trevor's beginning to gap me a little bit, but we're gaining a lot on exit, man. We're definitely killing him on exit, but he's sending it in so deep, man. He's gaining so much there on entry. He's sideways on entry every corner and just drifting off the track on exit, doing it perfect, man. But I feel like in a lot of ways, we are still very even, even though we are driving this track completely opposite. You see up there, just the sins he's making there on entry, man. He's losing a little bit on exit, but he's sending it in so deep and is bringing so much power through the center of the track. He's leaving the bottom opened in turn number three and four. That's something I need to think of, man, because that's where I have an upper hand at. He's leaving the bottom opened. Understand this isn't for the win. But this is something that I'm always going to remember, man. Officially 15 laps to go from Phoenix International. Deep said, we really closed that time by Trevor. Moved down to the bottom. He's trying to take my line away now. Did you see that? He stole the inside from me. He backed up his corners and went to the bottom. He's seen that it was working for me and he took it. Smart driving by him. Lap traffic is right there in front of him. So it's going to be interesting if the lap traffic will hold him up at all. Now, he didn't do it that time by, so maybe he didn't like what he felt, although I felt like he was a bit faster doing that. I've gapped the guys behind us, so I do got an opportunity to kind of play around right now. I really got a great opportunity to play around. He's really going to overshoot the corner, man. This is going to be big. Trevor overshot it huge right there. We knocked up a few tents by that. I'm going to start sending this thing in a little bit deeper and try to do what he's doing here in front of me. I don't know how good that's going to be for the tires, but I'm going to keep sending it in a little bit deeper there in one and two because it's clearly working very well for him. Oh, look at this. Went down to the bottom once again. He's going to make that work. From my understanding, Trevor does not do a lot of sim racing. Bit of lag there in front of me. Hopefully his internet hangs on. But from my understanding, he doesn't do a lot of sim racing. He doesn't do this a lot. This is the first time I've ever seen his name in a lobby. This time by at the line, there's going to be 10 laps remaining. We gained a 10th. We gained a 10th. Let's keep rolling him in here, boys. I'm moving around, trying all the way down on the apron, just trying to make this thing rotate a bit better. I'm not leaving nothing on the table right now. Absolutely nothing. Eight laps remaining. Now he has caught the lap traffic. I'm kind of hoping he catches some in turn number three and four because I know that's going to slow him down a little bit here. But I would think the lapper is probably going to pull over for him down the back straight away. We're going to have to wait and see on that one. Back on the throttle pretty deep. No, the lap car is still there ahead. 
as he has not caught him yet. He's to his back bumper now. He's probably going to get him down the front straight away. Trevor is beginning to gap me a little bit. He got some draft off of the lap score, and that's really helping him. Going to be five to go with the line. He's there behind the traffic, and this may be the slip up I wanted or I needed as he tried the outside. Now, can he get around the lap score? The 11 is holding him up pretty bad right now. He's not able to get around the number 11. Their pace is very similar. This 11 has a great pace right now. Maybe he got wrecked out early. He seemed to be quick. The 11 is going to give him the inside, and that should let him around with five laps remaining as they are side by side. This is going to really mess up his arc a little bit, but Trevor is going to long gone right now, being a second ahead of me with four laps remaining at the line. Three to go. 15 is catching me quick, man. He's nearly to my back bumper of three to go. Trying to bring home a top five finish. I'm going to get a little draft off of this lap score. I don't know how big of an advantage that's going to be for me. Let's hope we do not get held up any more than we probably are around here. It's going to be two laps to go at the line. I think Trevor is struggling a little bit up there. He's looking a little bit sideways off some of these corners, man. The handling is really going away. We pulled a 10th on the 15, so it's definitely looking a little bit better for us. I'm still trying to back up my corners and be smart. But right now, there's no more saving tires. You give it everything and much more. All the way down to the apron. This should put me in front of the number 11. But no, absolutely not. He's going to run high, though. We are going to get around him. We're going to lose a little bit of time here because we didn't get the arc that we need. But we're coming to the white flag this time by in position number five. Now, will the leaders take each other out? The top two are bumper a bumper coming to the white flag. Somebody's going to throw it into some of these final corners. And it's just a matter of if it's going to stick. 15 is right there on my back bumper. White flag. One lap to go. I got Trevor right in front of me, man. This has been an amazing video. Great content here today, man. Uh, how about this one? Guy behind me is going to throw it in pretty deep. Not going to stick. So we should pull away a little bit because of that. Pretty much sealing the deal for a top five. Will the leaders make it out of turn number three and four? Or is it going to be death and chaos when we come around here? Checkered flag this time by. It's going to be position number five. What about that race? What about the battle with the Daytona 500 champ? This guy currently drives for Joe Gibbs Racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. That was a fun one, Trevor. That was a fun one. Maybe we can do it again sometime. That's the cool thing about iRacing, man. You jump in in these lobbies. No guarantee who's going to be in these races. It's all very random. And uh, that was so cool, man, that we got to uh, run head-to-head -head with Trevor Bain here. Hey, whoa, what's going on up here, man? What's going on up here? Yo, we got tempers flaring. What's happening? We had some cars wrecking here on pit road. That was the top two, wrecking each other post-race. Do you hope you guys did enjoy today's content. Subscribe if you're new. I'd like to thank my Patreon members for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.